Welcome back to more Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door, everyone. So last time, we uh, pretty much set ourselves up for Chapter 5, but in this episode, I'm going to be uh, basically just doing troubles. So side quest, you know, pretty much doing almost every trouble that there is at the moment. So it's going to be a lot of cutting. So that was the first one already that I had already started a long time ago. But for some damn reason, I just like forgot, you know. Anyway, safe delivery. Okay, so this guy... Okay, he is behind Zesty's place. Package delivery, apparently. Okay, cool. So let's do it. Let's do it then. So this dude... He's not too far, luckily. Yeah, luckily, you know? Seriously. Because some of these freaking people, like, oh my god. So much... So much damn backtracking everywhere. It's pretty ridiculous. Okay, let's come over here. Right, this guy. Okay, so we got the box. So now we have to go back and go to the, the Goomba that's right in front of Franklin's place, basically. Right here. Here's the box. Okay, we never spoke. You know, I wonder what the hell's in that box. It's so secretive and we never spoke. What the hell? We got some cocaine or something? Jeez. That's crazy. I mean, it is Rogueport. Look at all this freaking crime and shit. I'm pretty sure that they have some coke somewhere. Okay, so that's two troubles down. Next trouble. But I mean, basically, after every single chapter, there's more and more troubles unlocked. As you can see, there's a quite a decent amount now, you know? A decent amount, for sure. Price adjustment. Okay, so this guy's really easy. Okay. Just talk to this guy right here. He's a dude. Yes, I check prices for you. Fire flower, I'll put 10. I see. Sleepy sheep, 8. Tasty tonic, 3. That's rough. Low prices. Yep. Hmm. Alright, so, I mean, actually, I think you can just say whatever you want for that trouble. And you'll get the coins. Alright. Goomther. Credit card fraud. What the? Okay. So this dude is actually right over here. Wait, what the hell? No, no, it's not you, it's uh, this guy. This guy. Okay. So what you gotta do... Is uh, go to, I believe it's first off the wall over here. This one. And it'll be right Yeah, this guy. Okay. So he's gonna run off. Okay. And then eventually he's gonna go to, um... I believe it's to the left of the... Oh, shit. Oh, no. I think it's over here. Let's see. Yep, here he is. Alright, so that's uh, number two, encounter two. And encounter three is going to be uh, behind the inn, I believe? I believe so. Let's see, is it that way or maybe this way? Shoot, it's not there. Where's he at? Here he is. You! And here comes Goomther, I think it's, his name's Goomther. 20 coins, yes! Man, I guess he's, what, is he being arrested or something? I don't know what the hell's going on, but okay. Alright, that's cool. Next trouble! Trouble number? I don't know what the hell the number we're at. Like, seriously, I don't know. What the hell was that? I heard a coin sound. That's strange. Okay, next up is... Okay, Master Million's trouble is that we... He wants to be hit. Not hit on. Hit. Like, what? I don't know, people. I don't know. So this guy's actually right here. This dude. All you want to do is hit him. But don't hit him too fast. He's going to keep saying, I just can't remember. Until he says, I remember. It's actually just random, you know? So it's whatever. You'll, you'll get it eventually. When he says, I remember. 
I remember. There we go. That's it. And there we go. Buy a sleepy sheep in Roadport and sell it in Petalburg for a two-coin profit. That's that's what I mean. Your, your reward is that basically. That tip, which is stupid. So whatever. Because like I mean, even if you were gonna use it, that's too slow. Why don't you just go out and fight enemies and you get more coins that way? Like seriously. Okay, Bombardo. So this guy's in the docks. All you want to do is uh, buy some food, which I believe I don't have any at the moment. And by food, it can be a mushroom, honey syrup, whatever really, anything, anything that's food. So I'm just gonna come over here. Hey, look, it's Super Luigi. It's a book, a key item. Let's go ahead and buy this honey syrup, because that's food. Okay, so this guy is somewhere down here, in the freaking docks. Is it you? Wait, what? Shoot! Oh yeah, it, it is him. Honey syrup. 11 coins! Okay, cool. That's my that's trouble solved. So as you can see, in the beginning of the game, all the early troubles, they're pretty freaking simple. They are so self-explanatory. However, eventually... It can get a little bit freaking tricky, and I don't like that one bit. I really don't. Okay, so next up... Is it just a hook to one, actually? I think so. Yeah, it is. God damn it. Okay. So do that. So he's gonna be hiding somewhere in Hooktail's castle. Now, first of all, it's a long trip there, but I'm gonna go ahead and not cut at the moment because I want to show you a pathway that I have not shown you yet. So, if you come down here, one pipe, instead of going further down, which is what you normally would do, you know, right down there, go this way. Because this here leads to... An area that has uh, basically two shortcuts, also one shine spray. Okay. Alrighty, so that's one. Oh shoot, gotta wait. Yeah, so that's one pipe. And then pipe number two is right there. So the first pipe over here leads to, I believe it's Petalburg, so it's a shortcut there. Yeah, it is. See that? To Petalburg. Now, there are actually two star pieces here. I believe the first one's over here. Yeah, right there. There we go, star piece. And then the second one is right over, I believe it's somewhere. Um, I think it's here actually. Is it? Yeah, here it is. There it is. Star piece two. Okay. Okay, so the star piece is right over here, this one. I want to just come over here, and then ground kind of out here. Yo, should get the hell out of the way. There we go. Star piece. How many am I at? 39, wow, okay. Again, once we reach 70, we have obtained every single star piece in the game. Every single one. And there he is, see that guy? That's him. Jump! Hello there, dude, I found you. Yep, so as a reward, what the hell? He knows coops? Wow. Anyway, as a reward, you obtain a special card that lets you play the play mode. Yeah, that's for the, uh, the Pianta Parlor, basically. So, time for a cut now, because you yeah, have to go all the way back to Rogueport now. Yes, all the way freaking back. It's gonna be a long journey, but let's do it. Okay, so the next trouble is Mayor Coop, listen to me. Oh, man. Do it and do it right. Oh, okay, back to freaking Petalburg. Oh, jeez. Okay, here's Mayor Coop. All you need to do is talk to this guy. Mash B. And there we go. <laughs> Jesus, man. Turtle Leaf as a reward. Cool. Trouble solved. Alright. Back to Rogue. Actually, wait, wait, one more thing. Before I go back. Uh, make sure to come to the shop here and buy yourself five Courage Shells. You're going to need them. You are. For the next trouble, actually. I'm just setting myself up because I know what's going to happen. So come over here. Buy five. 
There we go. Alrighty. Shoot. What? Are you kidding me? Okay, what can I sell then? Um, sell the Mr. Softener, sure. And let's see. Should I just sell the HP drain? Well, the Turtle Leaf. Actually, am I going to need that? Okay, sell the HP drain. I don't know if I'm going to need that for like a recipe in the future. The, the leaf. I'm just going to go ahead and store it then. Okay. I can go ahead and buy myself two more. Okay. And I just got another item. That was a uh, an ice storm, which I don't really want, actually. Alright, so I got five. Alright, time for a cut. Okay, next trouble is uh, plenty. Alright, so he needs... Uh, He's going to need five items, and they're all going to be courage shells. All five are courage shells. So let's go ahead and do that. I don't have to cut this time because it's pretty much right here, you know, really close in the proximity. Okay, you, you, damn it! Yes, five courage shells. Okay, there's one. There's two. Three, four, and five. Awesome. And I obtained an Ultra Shroom as a reward. That is crazy, you know, to get this, this early in the game because this is only like, like this is shown after chapter one, I think. So it's actually really early in the game. Wow. Okay. So that's that. Next up is, uh, oh yeah, I'm gonna go to the freaking block of the woods. Okay, so for that one, it's gonna be the pipe on the left. Now, you know that room that takes us to Pendleberry, the pipe on the right? The pipe on the left takes you to the Great Boggly Tree, pretty much right outside. So, I mean, I guess I'll just cut to that part. Okay, Puny Elder. So this guy wants a live shroom. Make sure to have a live shroom before you get there. It's Boggly Woods. I have one. So, yep, I'm good. Let's go. Okay, so here's the pipe I was talking about. The one on the left side. If you keep going to the next door on the left, the little door that you see there... You actually can't progress, because there's another big block that you can't actually break quite yet. Which sucks, I know, but whatever. That's life, you know? That's life. <laughs> I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Okay, so... This guy... Life Shroom. And with that, I obtained 60 coins as a reward. Also, talk to this guy... Actually, wait, no. Talk to you, sorry. To play a game. Sure. Okay, so you can create an easy question. The only one that works is Mario likes which person the most? And it's Princess Peach. And with that, you obtain a free item. Let's dig egg. You can keep doing that by just exiting and then going back in again if you want. You know, if you want more Mystic Eggs. The Mystic Eggs are basically your eggs from Paper Mario 64 for cooking and shit. So yeah, you know. Okay, the next person is Lala that says play with me, so I'm gonna go ahead and you know take on your trouble. Alrighty. This one is actually extremely easy. All you need to do is go to the west side of Roadport, into the Pianta Parlor, and talk to Lala, and you will obtain some free pi uh, Piantas, actually, the tokens. So, it's pretty much a free trouble. Just free stuff. Okay, right over here, into the Pianta Parlor. Let me talk to you, of course. Where you at? Where you at, dammit? Right here. Yes, I took on your trouble. And there we go. Ten free ones. Okay, now that I'm here, what I'm gonna do is actually... Okay, wait, well, use the member card and I can play the playing game. Cool. Uh, trade and winnings. So, Cake Mix is six. Okay, what I'm gonna do then... Is by myself. I'm gonna buy two. So it's three coins for one Payanta. I'm gonna just get two so I can have exactly 12. No, what the? And so I can get two of these cake mix and then another cake mix. So he has all these, she has all these badges, by the way. I believe refund is unique only to this place. So you, can, you cannot get it anywhere else. It is impossible. I guess we have to get two cake mixes. You're going to need them eventually for troubles. And uh, I'm also going to go ahead and cook one up now. Might as well. Or bake one, I should say. Because it's a cake mix, you know. 
Alrighty. Hello there, Zesty. Uh, yes. Go ahead and use a cake mix. Yes. So just that. So if you make only a cake mix, you will obtain, I believe it's a moose cake. It should be one. Yep, there it is. You're going to need that in the future as well. And let's see, next thing I need to do... Oh yeah, here's uh, you by the way. <laughs> still there, you know, even, even though I bought everything from you, you're still there. What the heck. Okay, the next trouble involves the Pit of One Hundred Trials. I'm actually probably gonna go ahead and skip that one for now, because I have plans on going to the Pit of One Hundred Trials in the future, you know, eventually, but, uh... Because I'm not really sure I'm gonna approach that yet. I really have no idea how. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take on Jolene's though. Actually, wait. I'll do this one next. Okay. Oh my god. So I gotta go back down to the freaking sewers. Again. This one's actually kinda close though, which is why I'm not skipping this at the moment. Okay, so it's uh... Which one is it? It's this pipe, which, which we have not been to yet actually. <laughs> We haven't. The only thing is, though, you have to go to someone. I forgot who is it. I think it's Petalberg. I think so. So yeah, talk to you from behind. Okay. Wait, who? To Toast Tea. Okay. Fortune Teller. Uh, no. No. Not yet. I don't believe in fortune telling. Okay, so the building is this one over here. Simply talk to her. Cake mix and rune powder. Okay, that's all. That's all you need to know. Cool. Time to go back to freaking Merle. Oh my god, so much freaking montage cutting. Okay, I'm back. Yes, I know it. You have no cake mix? Okay, I'll get you one. That is why you want to have it. Here, ready. And with that, you obtain 30 coins. Okay, another couple solved. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, the next one is an incredibly annoying one. Jolene Help Wanted. You gotta go to Glitz Pit. Yes, you have to go to Glitz Pit again. So I will meet you all there. Okay, I'm here. So yes, Degree Gonzalez is back. Yes, I am. So yeah, you gotta talk to one of these two guys and basically just say that you want to be a fighter again. Now, you don't actually have to be a fighter again. You don't have to, but I do have to see uh, Miss Jolene. Okay, so she's in here. I'm back. I'm back, baby. Okay, so I just skip all this shit because I'm not, not going to be doing this again. Hell no. I'm only here for the trouble, damn it. But unfortunately for the trouble, we have to go through all this stuff again. Okay, so, and also, all of our records are gone, which means that the only way to, you know, fight again is to uh, start from the beginning. Even... Even to someone who saved your brother, like his life, and who saved the entire freaking glitch bit. Okay, so I just talked to you for the trouble, that's all I needed to do. So, now it's gonna go over here, into the storage room. There are 20 trunks. Get them all. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And there we go, all done. Alright. Now here's what sucks, people. Yes, here is what sucks so much. Gotta talk to you again, Jolene. You smell terrible, yeah, whatever. Okay, so I have to go back to Rogueport and give all this shit to a Goomba who likes to collect this, and then I have to go back here again and talk to her to collect my reward. It is absolutely aggravating that we keep, keep having to go back. I mean, not for all of you, because I'm going to do a cut, but yeah. One more thing. Now that you're here in Glitzville, make sure to buy two hot dogs so you don't have to make another trip. Buy the hot dogs now. Okay, so I believe the dude is right here. Mm-hmm. Alright. I'm gonna give this all to you. 
and just freaking mash the A button. You gotta give all 20 to him. And honestly, I don't know why this guy wants to collect this stuff. Like, what are you gonna do with it? Are you gonna wear it? You can't sell it because it's too freaking terrible. I mean, then again, I mean, if you go to a swap meet or a flea market, whatever you want to call it, you know, you could see some pretty messed up stuff in there. Like, do people actually buy that shit? I mean, maybe they do. One man's trash is another man's treasure. Alright. Now it's time to go back to Glitzville again. Yes, again. Okay, I'm back. Give me my damn reward, freaking woman. All that for freaking 30 coins? Are you kidding me? Whatever, I'm done with this video. Okay, so we did most of the troubles. I think in the next episode I might just progress the story. I mean, we've done plenty of troubles by now, so I think it's fine. But, I mean, I don't know. I really have no idea by this point as to what, like, what I'll be doing. But we'll see. So, if you enjoyed this episode in any way, please be sure to leave a like. I would appreciate that very much. Thank you, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.